What is it? Well, actually, it is a opportunity for juniors and seniors to come discuss their future plans with not just colleges, but uh, you know some other art institutes and some of the military branches will be there. Um, and it's also a good opportunity for um, parents to come and um, listen to a, a speech about you know why the SAT is important and you know what it entails when you guys get your scores. It will be in the gymnasium. Okay, I'm Kate Romke. I'm in 11th grade. Um, I'm trying to get a better idea of the different colleges that they have to offer, or like what they have to offer. I want to go into musical or music industry, so a music field would be best. I've been visiting colleges like a lot. I visited Concordia. Tomorrow I'm visiting Cornerstone, and then Monday I'm visiting Spring Arbor. I'm William Woodruff, and I'm a junior. Want some answers? Want to ask colleges what SAT score I need? Which one has the best medical programs and such? Visiting a bunch of colleges. I'm uh, planning to visit Eastern. I'm planning on talking to them. I've already visited U of M. I visited Spring Arbor three times. Just visited a bunch of colleges. Want to talk to more professional people there instead of just their little student representatives. Our college fair is a free college event for anyone in Jackson County of any age who would like to attend and actually from other counties too. We have just about 70 colleges and um, scholarship and grant and loan programs coming to the event again this year. It will be on Tuesday, March 7th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Northwest High School Competition Gym and Lobby. Actually, our from 5.30 to 6, there will be a talk sponsored by the College Access Center specifically for juniors and their parents in our cafetorium, which is across the hall from our gymnasium. Uh, and the topic of that talk will be, I'm about to take my SAT. What should I be doing? How should I be preparing for applying to college and my future? Then um, students can actually go out and meet with all the college reps they'd like to that are visiting us or any scholarship reps. And they can see who they want during the hour and a half long period of the college fair. Uh, so our college fair is actually donation sponsored. We have to rent tables and we have to, um, we choose to offer food, Clavons, wink, wink, to our um, college representatives who come to the event. And actually, Clavons does a fundraiser for us for the program and other local donors, as well as table sponsors for specific colleges help pay for all the event for us. This year, you should consider pre-registering for our college fair. If you're a student at any high school in Jackson County, your counselor has information about how you can go in and fill out some information about yourself, a little bit actually of information, and then you'll be able to come to the fair, show a barcode on your phone that can then be scanned by the college representatives instead of having to fill out your information card at every single college representative's table you go to. It should save you a lot of time and you'll be able to spend more time then talking with the college reps. I think an event like this is really important for students and families in our community because actually in Jackson County there are only two large college fairs the entire year for all of our students. It's also important for college students who are interested in transferring because they then can have the opportunity to talk to the schools they'd like to transfer to. You can find out what kind of information you need to have in order to apply, what kind of grades, what kind of classes. There's such a variety of opportunities for kids at a college fair. So hopefully lots of people will take advantage of it.